now. The one on the right, I think, is your six iron you got there. Is it seven iron you got? Six, six, iron. six iron. This seven. one on the left, I think, was like a seven or an eight. So it's a bit yeah. of a shorter club, hence why yeah. the lines are a bit more upright and sort of change of angles. But in terms of the swing, yeah. okay, we want to be swinging this golf club underneath the blue line, both on the way back and on the way through. And if we look yeah. at the left-hand side now, it goes back a little on the inside, as we said, but at the top of the back, so you get the club into a good spot. So we're nicely underneath plane there. Look at this one. Get a bit on the inside, but the top of the back, so again, both good positions, a position from which we can bring the golf club back to the golf ball and then ideally start it towards your target line, okay? Yeah. Now, in terms of this swing coming down, with the hips then going forward, the club then works a long way from the inside. The ball then you can see now starting out to the right, okay? If you sort of look at the blur sort of appearing there, yeah. the ball starting to the right. And if we look at your club now post plane, that to me there is very upright. Yeah. Okay, you're yeah. above the blue line yeah. in a sort of out, out position. And again, the swing now doesn't quite sort of want to come around. Your hands never get back yeah. underneath the plane of the golf swing. Whereas this one, this is sort of this, the sensation of fading it, starting the ball left of target. Better come down the club now. It's going more direct to target. A cleaner strike. And then your hands and club now work under plane. You see the club now working underneath that blue yeah. line we yeah. can see. A much better angle there, yeah, 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 and you yeah. can enter with a lot more freedom with that. So it doesn't that looks a bit tucked up. Yeah, and it is. When we go in trying to yeah. find that looks a lot freer. It's a longer club, so I suppose yeah, we could argue it would be a longer swing. But your hands are in a much different position yeah. there. Your elbow, your left elbow, was barely come round because it's, it's all worked out too far, as we said, to here. So when the arms are starting to work out there, the left elbow never appears. When the club works around your body more, we get that sort of more conventional sort of follow-through position yeah. where the shoulders are fully rotated. Your left elbow around there and the club now sort of sit in the back of your top of your head there nice and comfortably. So if we can get that sensation, that club is working around and more what we call under plane here. So yeah. the swing of the club is more into the ball flight now sort of starting towards target, getting that club swinging underneath and through rather than sort of swinging too far into out, hips going forward and the ball then just sort of sending itself yeah. way off to the right. Okay, the sensation is fading the ball, as we said. That's okay. the, So yeah. next time you play golf, Possible, tomorrow. yeah. So tomorrow when you're playing, I would say the first hole, yeah, I mean, you can sort of hit a fade into there with your sort of third shot again. Second hole would be a fade ideal off that sort of left, the right hand trap there. Third hole, probably not so much, maybe with the sort of slope kicking down there, then yeah. a short club into that green anyway, yeah, so it wouldn't no, be bouncing that far. Fourth hole, you could do that with no problem at all. Fifth hole wouldn't be bad. Sixth hole, yeah, seven, yeah, eight, fine, yeah. nine, fine, ten, depending on the pin. Uh, Eleven, all above your feet probably, so... Depending on the top of yeah. shot you've got, 12 you could do easy, 13 you could do easily, 14 you could do 15, yeah, it would work depending on where the pin is. I mean, generally sort of super more of a right to yeah. left the par three with the pin behind the bunker, but again, you could try yeah. sort of favour in there. 16 definitely, 17 maybe, and 18 would be fine. Yeah. So there's a good majority yeah. of holes that would be okay yeah. to try and shape it left to right. Now, we're not shaping it 40 yards left to right, we're shaping it four yards left yeah. to right. We're just getting a more direct swing now to target. So the club now is working much more down the target line this way. If you get a couple that work a little bit to the left, probably your hands have worked a little bit too active, which they've had to do when the path was going this yeah. way. If your hands didn't work too much, it would go way right. Some of the shots are really high right. You, said you did get a couple of yeah, them I, I where the hands have yeah, just sort of come yeah, through, probably in a slightly too. open fashion. If they're slightly open with the path more direct towards target, it goes there. Yeah. Okay. If they're slightly open coming from this way, it's off the screen yeah. into trees yeah. and losing a lot of distance yeah. okay so yeah. get those hands and arms working a more round the sort of swing arc rather than out to the right too much once the swing path path is more direct you can eliminate some of the dreaded yeah. or the potential yeah. dreaded a yeah. few healy shots weren't you yeah and the ball can fly a bit more direct the target so yeah visualize some sort of fadey type shots and see how we go from there okay, okay. does that make sense yeah yeah good stuff i'll have a couple more then with a few longer clubs then and we'll see how they go with the perhaps oh, yeah. woods and drivers yeah yeah